What's going on guys, it's Blueheaded, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play PS2 games on your PC using LaunchBox and the PCS X2. I'd appreciate if you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful at all, but let's not waste your time and let's get right to it. So first thing I like to do is to create a new folder and I will just named it the PCS X2 just so everything's in the same spot when I actually get that downloaded. Next, you're gonna go into your browser and I'll put all the links to the to each website in the description, so make it a little bit easier on you guys. But first off, we're gonna to wanna to download LaunchBox. So we can go ahead and hit download. It's gonna have you enter in your email and you'll click the link in your email and download it from there. So I'll do that real quick. All right, when it's done downloading, you're gonna go into the installer and in whatever language you prefer go ahead and select that um, there's the license agreement uh, go ahead and read all that and if you accept it accept it if you don't then you might as well just end the video now uh, and then it will take you to where you want to save it and go ahead and select that and, uh, and then rename it if you want and then install all right now that that's all done it'll open up lunchbox And then it will ask you to import your games. But from here, we're just going to minimize LaunchBox for now. We'll X out of that. Minimize LaunchBox. And then we're going to go and download our PCS X2. Go ahead and download the most stable version. I've already had it before, so that's why it's saying that for me. So I'm going to open that a normal installation we don't need these shortcuts because you know it's going to be in our launch box so we don't need them it's just a waste of space then we're going to put where we want to save it i'm going to put mine in the pcs x2 folder that i created on my desktop install and you can go ahead and finish and run it that's pretty self-explanatory i had it before so it's going to ask me if i want to import the settings um i'll just overwrite just so i can show you guys what i did which is the absolutely nothing we just made sure that all that looks right and we hit finish now we need to get a bios so in order to do that i have another link in the description for that it'll take you right to this part of this link and what you're gonna do is go right here where playstation 2 bios you're gonna right click it save link as we're gonna go into our folder we just created. I'm gonna create a new file and call it BIOS. And then we're gonna go into the BIOS. And what you have to do is rename it. We'll keep it the same name, just add dot zip to the end of it and then save it. And so when we go to our PC as X2 file, go into BIOS, so it'll have this zip folder in here. And if you don't have this already, I recommend going to your Microsoft store and downloading BreeZip. It's just a really convenient file extractor. Makes it a lot quicker to move stuff around if you want. So I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna select all of these, hit extract. And then I'll just, again, select all these and I'll move them into the BIOS and you can just get rid of both of these. Go ahead and close that, close your BreeZip or whatever file extractor you have. And those are all you need. Um, I'll put where you can put the games in the description. I'm just not gonna show you how you can really just Google it and do it that way. Then we're gonna go back into our PCS X2 application and we're going to deselect the use default settings. And then we're gonna go into our file that we created. And then we're just gonna select the BIOS file. And you select whichever one that you prefer. I know mine's USA, so I'm gonna click finish. It's gonna run this program log and then it's gonna say plugins loaded successfully. Once you get that, you can go ahead and close both the uh, both of those windows. You can open up LaunchBox. Then you're going to go up to this right-hand corner, go up to Manage Tools, Manage. 
then emulators and then we're going to add our emulator uh, emulator name you can go ahead and select what it is the pcsx2 application path we're going to select it so go on our desktop well my desktop that's where mine is and we're going to select the actual application and open that will be that then we can just hit ok and now we have our pcsx2 emulator in launchbox so we can close that and now how we add games is we go back up to tools import and then rom files go ahead and hit next and then add files i already have some games on here so i'll just download a random one like um midnight club 3 we'll just open that um you'll see when you get there that you'll have to extract the seven zip and then with your free zip you'll turn it into the iso file after you extract it which platform are you extracting for and then you'll just select the sony playstation 2 next the emulator is the pcsx2 so that's good go ahead i just copy the files next next that's just the boxes and then you'll have to create a emu movies login so then you'll click configure and then you'll create or register if you haven't or you sign in if you already have an account so once you get that all set up and you sign in to emu movies you click next next and then finish and then it's gonna load your game up into launchbox and just like that you have a game on your launch box and i almost forgot to show you guys but if you have a new game if you just download it you see how the all these are iso and this one's a seven zip that means this one isn't fully extracted so what you're gonna do is open it up in breezip and then you can go ahead and click on the actual file don't worry about this one but this is kind of where i got the game and then you hit extract go ahead and extract it and once that's all done it'll open up another file search window and you can just move the iso file into your games and then you can just delete that 7-zip and you can also delete this file folder then go ahead and close these and just to prove that that works go on tools import files next add and then i will pull in this game that i just downloaded next importing for the uh, playstation 2 same emulator go ahead next 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 finish and just like that it loads up on your launch box so you can go ahead and right click in and hit play and then it'll open up and i just plugged in my controller to my pc and it worked just fine i didn't have to work on any settings or not i'm not sure if you're gonna have the same same luck as me but i have an xbox controller and it just worked immediately so here's the game and just show you some gameplay so you know it works drive around just cruise san diego sounds good to me time of day don't care let's just drive around just let you guys know that this works and uh, it works pretty dang good to be honest yeah. that's gonna be it for today's video i hope it helped you guys out and you can enjoy the old school games like i am enjoying right now i will see you guys in the next video hope you guys have a good one peace out